Hi, Jira Doers, and welcome back to this video on customer payment follow-up. Getting customers to pay invoices can be challenging, especially when their accounting processes are slow or unreliable. At Bloom, we want to address this issue efficiently without wasting too much time, as prompt payments are essential for maintaining a healthy cash flow. However, we want to avoid mistakes like sending reminders for already paid invoices or overlooking unpaid ones. To demonstrate that we're organized and reliable, we've decided to send bi-monthly follow-ups, after confirming that all bank transactions and payments have been reconciled, of course. Let's remind our customers to pay us to prevent delays and keep unpaid invoices from becoming bad debts. First, note that you'll need to set up payment terms correctly, so be sure to check out that video if you haven't watched it yet. Let's start by setting up the follow-up actions in our database. To do this, we can go to Accounting, Configuration, Follow-up Levels. And here we can see all of the actions triggered after a specific number of days. And I just have to click on one of the follow-up levels to manage all of its options, like choosing when to send this follow-up reminder, choosing how I want to send this follow-up, and adding any kind of template. This one lets us add any of the mail templates that we've already created, or to create a new one if needed can automatically send this follow-up reminder when it applies, and we can choose to attach the invoices to the reminder. And finally, we can add followers to receive notifications. If I open the Activity tab, I can even schedule activities. For example, if I click to the next record, we can see that the 45-day reminder, we have scheduled activities, and we can select from the drop-down lists such as email or call, to do, meeting, etc. Okay, so if we go back to the follow-up levels list view, everything looks perfect for me now. Let's check out how to view and use these follow-ups. First, to have a complete view of all of our overdue invoices, we'll go to our customers, invoices, and we'll filter the search for overdue invoices. Since we don't want to manually send reminders for each invoice, we have two options here. We can follow up on all customers that are due for action, or we can follow up for one specific customer. Let's start for just one customer. So we'll go to the customers menu and select our Lush Horizons to open the customer form. And in the accounting tab, we have the invoice follow-up section, which provides a detailed overview of the customer's follow-up status at each different level. And I can click on journal items to have detailed information with every journal item for this customer. If we go back to the customer form, it looks like Lush Horizon could use a reminder. Note that it's only when both the follow-up level itself and the customer follow-up are set to automatic that the follow-up is automatically sent. And this provides us with more flexibility as to when we want to follow up automatically. So in this case, we'll just send it manually for now. And we'll do that by clicking send and then send again. And that's it. One key advantage is that the chatter retains a complete record of all follow-up actions taken for that particular customer so far. And I'll keep this date in the next reminder field, but I could change it if needed. There's also another way to notify our customers about their overdue invoices. If I click on the Do Smart button here, we'll see the follow-up report, which provides a comprehensive summary of our customer's account, including everything that is overdue or due. This is the same report that's actually sent to the customer when we take follow-up actions like we saw previously. And it can also be sent by using this Send button. And if I want to exclude an invoice from the follow-up, I can enable the toggle in the No Follow-up column for that specific document. Now, if multiple customers require action, I can take action for them all at once. I just need to go to Customers and open the Customer List view. And here we can filter by overdue invoices or by requires follow-up. So we'll select requires follow-up, and then I'll select all of our customers since all seven of these need follow-up. And we can just go action 
and process follow-ups. So now you have all the tools to easily follow up on unpaid invoices. That's all for today from your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next video.